Hello everyone, it's Jans back with another one for you. Happy New Year, by the way. Hope everybody had a fantastic celebration. Today we'll be diving into my bucket list of bands I want to see live. And not only just that, how badly I want to see them. I made a video on what I thought of bands I've already seen. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link down below for you guys as well. Of course, if you end up enjoying yourself at some point during this video or any other of my videos, consider subscribing to my channel. That would mean a ton. And also give this one a big old thumbs up so it's pushed out to more viewers such as yourselves. And also ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads as well. All right, let's get into that video. All right, everyone. So you can see that there's a ton of bands here. I just picked a random tier list. And I knew enough of bands on here just by the looks of it that I thought this would be appropriate for the video. And of course, there's going to be some bands on here that I've already seen live. So there's already a ranking list column thingy here for that. And some bands I understand are broken up or they have dead members. I'm just going to act like I'm able to see these bands with their best lineup, their prime lineup in their prime, blah, blah, blah. You guys get it. And uh, not familiar. Obviously, I'm not into the band. I don't know who they are or meh. It's just I'm just not really into the band, obviously. And then I wouldn't mind seeing them. Maybe if they had a opener that I really liked, would pay 300 bucks for. And then there's bands that I would cut off my left nut for. Just supreme sacrifice to see this band live. And with that said, we got Allison Chains. Now, of course, their singer's dead. We're going to pretend that he's still alive. And I wouldn't cut off my left nut to see them. I would not pay 300 bucks. I wouldn't mind seeing them, though, I guess. Though, they wouldn't really need an opening band that I really like, like Avenged Sevenfold, who is next. Avenged Sevenfold, I have seen them live already three times. And I also talk about them in that video where I rank bands live as well, so go check that out. We got the Donnas. I'm vaguely familiar with them. I think it's because of Rock Band. Uh... Not really. They were just kind of okay. I think this is All American Rejects, I think. We're just going to go with that. Wouldn't mind seeing them, but I wouldn't pay 300 bucks, that's for sure. Blondie, wouldn't mind seeing them. Don't know who that is. Grateful Dead, hell no. Sonic Youth, meh. Cool for Cats, meh. Elvis Costello, I think that's his name. He's pretty solid. I wouldn't mind seeing him. Don't know a lot of his songs, though. Breaking Wheel, they have a song in Rock Band. I feel like somebody took a lot of bands from, like, Rock Band or something when they were making this. I only know one song. I wouldn't... It was okay. I mean... I wouldn't mind seeing them. They would need a good opener, though, for me to go pay and see them. No offense. Bad Company is... I wouldn't mind. They would need an opener that I really like, though. Because I only really like maybe two of their songs. Motorhead's Ace of Spades, If Lemmy's Still Alive. Sure, I wouldn't mind seeing them. I was never a big, big fan of Motorhead, but I like Ace of Spades enough, I guess. Billy Idol, I don't think I would pay 300 bucks, but he's pretty cool. Same thing with Pearl Jam. I'm going to go with the same predicament there as Billy Idol. We're not Chili Pepper. I think I would pay 300 bucks to see them. They are fucking phenomenal. And I definitely really want to see them. ACDC. Ooh, this is a good one. Because this is a band I would really like to see live. I never became like a mega fan of them. But they are really fucking good. Like, in the sense of like, I like, like, various songs by them. And there's only really one album I really like all the way through. That is Black, Back in Black. So where would I put them? They, this is kind of tough. Um, because I definitely wouldn't mind seeing them. But would I pay three hundred bucks to see them? I don't think so. Oh, we got Paramore. I think I'd pay three hundred bucks to see them. Like, again, they're kind of like ACDC. I don't know all their songs. I don't know them by albums really per se. But they have just such a fantastic fucking sound. I would I would fucking pay three hundred bucks to see them. And then is this Panic at the Disco? Like we can pretend it is. I guess I wouldn't mind seeing them. Bon Jovi. Okay, so in the 80s, if we're going off the, what I said, the criteria of when they were in their prime, yeah, I'd probably see pay 300 bucks to see them, honestly. I like Slippery Rowan Wet, good album to choose there. But if it was today, the present, I'd be like, hell no. I'd be, they'd be down here. <laughs> Bikini Kill? Eh, not really. 
I would probably cut off my left nut to see AFI, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I think I think I think we're we're amputating a nut. The guess who? Meh, not really. Devo, sure, but they would need an opening band that I really like. Maybe like Duran Duran or something, which I think Duran Duran's actually coming up soon here. Joan Jett, um, I had a chance I could have seen her live if I wasn't working at the time. She was playing with Poison, Motley Crue, and Def Leppard. I did catch Def Leppard's and Motley Crue set at Hershey Park Stadium. I think I talk about that in some videos. Um, one of mine, seeing her, and really wouldn't have mind seeing her because of the bands that she was playing with this past summer. Man camera, eh, sure. Beastie Boys, would I pay three hundred bucks? I wouldn't mind seeing them, but I wouldn't pay three hundred bucks. But they're really good. I think this is Duran Duran here. I'm pretty sure. I think I'd pay three hundred bucks to see them. I it, like. I think. I think. Yeah, I think I'd do it. Oh, this. Oh, this is Dream Theater. Uh sure. But I wouldn't pay three hundred bucks. Fleetwood Mac is pretty damn good, but I wouldn't pay three hundred bucks. Foo Fighters, I would cut off my left nut for. They are quickly becoming one of my favorite bands of all time, and they're just a single machine writing machine i guess that's what you could call it oh this looks familiar but i'm not sure what it is though can't read it it's too small back is is that back um sure why not cheap trick i wouldn't mind we're getting a lot of i wouldn't mind seeing them macedon another band i wouldn't mind just seeing journey Ooh, i'd pay 300 bucks definitely when they had Steven Perry, I would pay 300 bucks. I don't know if I would do that today, though. Maybe. But I wouldn't, I don't think I would cut up my left nut off to see them by any means. Now, Judas Priest. I have seen Halford live, but just not Judas Priest. I think I'd cut my left nut off for them. Where well, they got the nuts here. Lacuna Coil, I have seen them live once. And they were incredible. And I'd go see them again. L7. Mmm, not really. They're okay. Linkin Park, definitely. This is definitely a band I would cut my left nut off for. I would cut off my right nut to go see them live. I would probably amputate both of my legs to be able to bring back Chester Bennington to life. He's one of my favorite all-time vocalists. Big influence on me. And yeah, sucks that uh, none of us will be able to see him live anymore and uh yeah so yeah he definitely gets up there for sure they do lit meh they have one good song man metallica okay this is a band that's high on my bucket list so yes they would definitely definitely get my left nut you got megadeth um i did have the chance technically to go see them they were playing at hershey park stadium as i forementioned with Joan Jett. Not not with Joan Jett, but the same place Joan Jett was playing, as I aforementioned. And they were playing with Five Finger Death Punch, which was kind of odd. Um, yeah, but I didn't really take the time to go see them. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say, yeah, I, I would sacrifice everything because obviously I would have took that day off and would have definitely went. I don't think I'd pay 300 bucks to see them. But if, I'm in, if they're in their prime, I'd probably say 300 bucks. Nirvana, if Kirk Cobain's still alive. I would say, yeah, cut my left, left left nut off. Yeah, fuck yeah. Love that record, by the way. Never mind. That's the only album I really am familiar with all the way through. Anarchy Club. Um, Yeah, this has definitely got to be a Rock Band 2 list, clearly. Yeah, I know they're one song from Rock Band, and I wouldn't mind seeing them. They had a pretty good song on there. I forget what it was fucking called. Ooh, Rage Against Machine. I don't know if I cut my left nut off, but I'd, I'd pay 300 bucks to go see Tom Morello and... Rage Against Machine, hell yeah. Rat, um, definitely wouldn't pay 300 bucks to go see them, wouldn't cut off my left nut, but I'd, I'd, I'd go see them, yeah, yeah, they're pretty incredible. Is that, uh, The Offspring? Oh, ooh, I'd pay 300 bucks to go see them, hell yeah, any fucking day. Bob Dylan, uh, no, hell no, he's fucking terrible. Is this Rush? Yeah, we're gonna go with that, um, wouldn't mind seeing them, never got super into them, but they're, they're, Definitely cool enough. I think I'd go see them live. Smashing Pumpkins, I would go see them live. I wouldn't pay 300 bucks or cut off my left nut, but I'd, I'd see them live. Social Distortion, yeah, not, yeah, nothing too crazy, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, not crazy about them, but yeah, sure. Testament, 
Yeah, in the same ballpark. Stanley Dan? Hmm, not really. Steve Miller Band. Oh, okay, yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing them. Soundgarden? Is that who that is? Definitely would... Ooh. I would cut my left nut off to go see them. Yeah, bring back Chris Cornell, please. That'd be awesome. And since I'm a down, I'd pay 300 bucks to go see them, but I don't think I'd cut off a left nut by any means. Tenacious D, I think that'd be really fucking cool. Honestly, they have a lot of good songs. I love Jack Black just as a person, as an actor, so... I think I'd pay 300 bucks to go see them. Uh, yeah, I think I'd do it. I and mean, we're down to Disturb because I didn't know the rest of the bands. And this is actually a band that I have already seen live. Back with Avenged Sevenfold in 2010 at Opera Fest. So what do you guys think of this tier list? Would you agree with me or would you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you want to make your own list, I also will leave a link down below in the description as well. And if you guys have any suggestions for a future tier list, list as well feel free to let me know down below as well and if you also have any suggestions for covers for me to do actually physically freaking do i sing i play guitar and i play bass that'd be lovely if you could leave that down below as well and also too any suggestions for any future reaction videos i do reaction videos every wednesday i upload one at 3 p.m east coast time and also i do live twitch streams as well reacting to all kinds of different types of music mostly metal and rock though but if you guys want to join me for that and leave any requests you can in the comments down below or you can message me on any of my social medias as well or you can just join me on the twitch stream and request stuff as well i'll have links down below to all my socials so don't worry about it i do those streams at 6 p.m every tuesday at east coast time as well and of course guys have a happy new year as well we're in 2023 already. It'll be 2024 before we freaking know it as well. And stick around for more videos, guys, because uh, I'll be uploading one every Wednesday and every Sunday at 3 p.m. East Coast time, guys. All right, let's get on out of here.